Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can password protect an EduBlogs blog. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So here's my EduBlogs.org, and I'm going to log in to my account, and we're going to password protect one of the blogs that I have in EduBlogs. So you can see up here, I have a few different sites. Let's say we're going to we're going to work with the world geography with Mr. Byrne. So let's go to that dashboard. And down here, we're going to go into our settings. And let's look at reading. And we can see all of our settings here, including site visibility. And we can make different options here. We can say only registered users of EduBlogs can view the site. Only registered users of the site can view it. Only admin can view it. Or only someone who, who provides the following password can view this site. And so we can put in our password. And then save those changes. And now people will have to enter a password in order to view this particular EduBlogs blog that I've created, World Geography with Mr. Byrne. Now, if I want to change that, I can go back and unselect that option and save those changes. But you also have the option to password protect individual posts and pages in EduBlogs. And let's look at how we can do that as well. So I'm going to go to my posts and add a new one. And over here on the right hand side, under our visibility settings, let's edit those. And we can see we can make this private or again, we can make it password protected. And then publish that page. So let's click OK. And publish it. And now that particular post is password protected. And we can do the exact same thing with the pages. Let's go and add a new page. And we can go here to our visibility. And again, we can password protect. Click OK and publish that page. And you see here, I've published it a little bit too soon. So let's go back to our posts and do that one more time. Go back to all pages, password protected draft. Let's edit that and then we'll publish it again in just a moment. So that's how you can password protect your EduBlogs blog individual posts or individual pages within your EduBlogs blog. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.